Good afternoon and welcome to the City Council meeting for the City of International Falls for Monday, October 2, 2017. I would ask all present to please arise and pledge allegiance to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I would uh, ask the city administrator to note the roll call of all members of the council present. Move to the agenda, and we have one addition to the agenda, and that's under the consent agenda, item two, um, expenses for employee William Tomzak to attend a uh, building operator certification training at Rainy River Community College. With that, uh, your pleasure with the agenda and addition. Mr. Mayor, I'll make a motion to approve the agenda. Motion by Councilor Jackson to approve the agenda with the addition. I'll second. Second by Councilor Grova. Discussion on the motion or the agenda. None question. Aye. 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 And I'll vote yes. Motion is carried. Agenda is approved with the addition. Thank you. Move to the minutes of the regular city council meeting on September 18, 2017. Move. Motion by Councilor Briggs. by Councillor Pearson to approve the minutes of the Monday, September 18, 2017 regular city council meeting. Discussion on the motion of the minutes. Question. Aye. 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 I'll vote yes. Motion is carried. Minutes are approved. Thank you. And then we have the minutes of the special city council meeting of Monday, September 25th. Motion by Councillor Pearson to approve. I'll second. Second by Councillor Droba. And discussion on the motion or the minutes? Hearing none, question. Aye. 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 No vote yes. Motion is carried. Minutes are approved. Thank you. Go to the uh, payment of claims and uh, transfers. We have one transfer, and that's uh, to the general fund number 101 from the lodging tax fund, $741.50. And we have accounts payable claims, the City of International Falls regular claims of $211,474.75. The airport commission claims of $28,331.09. Airport Commission Terminal Project claims of $487,133.63. Your pleasure with the resolution to approve the transfers and claims. I'll move on the resolution. Motion by Councillor Droba to adopt the resolution approving the payment of uh, claims and the transfer. Okay. Second by Councillor Pearson. Discussion on the motion, or the uh, resolution, or the claims or transfer. None question. Aye. 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 Yes, the motion is carried, the resolution is adopted, and approval is given of the transfer and the payment of claims. Thank you. We'll go to the audience. Is there anyone in the audience that wishes to uh, bring something to the attention of the City Council at this time? That's not on the agenda. Another opportunity at the end of the meeting for audience participation. With that, we would move to um, whole business and we have uh, the resolution authorizing governmental lease for the radio equipment and authorizing other actions and signatures. City Administrator, do you have any uh, any comments? That's the uh, the resolution. 
I do not have any comments regarding that. Um, did you uh, bypass the proclamation, Mr. Mayor? It's, I noticed in my packet it was a couple of sheets in behind the resolution. So, um, are you at? I'm on old business. Old business. Oh, I'm sorry. That's why mine's in. The, okay, I'm sorry. No, I don't have any comments other than the, you know, the council had already passed a motion to approve the resolute or to approve the acquisition in our conversations with legal counsel they needed to prepare a resolution to make that of record and, and make the findings that are included in the resolution so it's it's fairly self-explanatory uh, I did include as attachments a copy of the legal opinion that Mary Ipple of Briggs and Morgan had rendered regarding to the tax exempt status of those bonds and then there's a separate legal opinion that was prepared by the city attorney regarding the uh, proceedings that were um, that transpired and and so there's two legal opinions with that as well as a copy of the um, government lease agreement the attorney did you have any comments uh, with regard to your opinion uh, no it, it's uh, self-explanatory i think everything's fine and and uh, uh, a good way to uh, finance this acquisition so as not to have to uh, uh, have a special referendum uh, which would be quite expensive to the city and would delay the process okay, very good uh, many questions of the city administrator or the city attorney not a motion would be in order to uh, approve uh, authorizing the uh, Action and uh, signatures. I would move on the resolution to authorize the lease for the radio. Motion by Councillor Droba, second by Councillor Pearson to adopt that resolution. Discussion? Question? Aye. 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 No vote yes. Motion is carried. Resolution is adopted. And approval is given for the lease of the radio equipment and the signatures to that agreement. Thank you. Move to the consent agenda. There's two items under consent agenda. Approve the expenses for the fire chief, assistant fire chief, and a member of the fire department to attend the Minnesota State Fire Chiefs Conference October 17th through the 21st in Rochester. Item two is uh, the addition to the agenda, and that's to approve expenses for William Tomzak to attend the building operator certification training October 25th and 26th at the Rainy River Community College. Pleasure with the consent agenda. Mr. Mayor. Motion by Councilor Briggs. I'll second. Second by Councilor Jackson. Question. Aye. 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 No vote yes. Motion is carried. Consent agenda is approved. Thank you. We'll move to a new business. We have the mayoral proclamation establishing October 2017 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Move on the resolution. Motion by Councilor Drova to approve the proclamation. Second. Second by Councilor Pearson. Discussion on the motion or the proclamation? Hearing none, question. Aye. 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 No vote yes. Motion is carried. Proclamation is approved. Thank you. Item number two under new business is a resolution for an exempt permit for the Bronco Hockey Boosters to conduct a raffle drawing to be held on December 22nd, 2017 at Bronco Arena. Your pleasure with that uh, application. Move. Motion by Councilor Briggs to approve. Second. Second by Councilor Jackson. Discussion on the motion or the application. Hearing none, question? Aye. 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 Vote yes. Motion is carried. Resolution is adopted and the application for the exempt permit is approved. Thank you. We move to the uh, item three under new business and that's to consider the general agreement between Voyagers National Park and the International Falls Fire Rescue EMS Department for Emergency Services. Uh, Manasa. Thank 
come here. Um, basically, this is a, an update of, of what we've had in the past. Uh, we've kind of unofficially had an agreement with them. Uh, this was something that uh, Head Ranger uh, Ben Wal Welsh wanted to update here for a while. We did have an incident this last month that required the use of some of their equipment. We do have several park employees that are on the fire department. So basically we readdressed the issue and we got things hammered out and this is the agreement they brought forth. Um, uh, as far as I'm concerned it looks like a good agreement and one that we can both benefit from. Uh, Administrator Anderson did have a lot to do with this on the um, final review of it, and I, I don't know if there's anything he'd like to add to this, but uh, from my opinion, it looks like a good agreement. Mayor, City Administrator. Um, the principal change with this is uh, related to Exhibit A, which uh, talks about the use of uh, National Park Service vessels for emergency response. And so um, provided our fire and EMS personnel are trained in the use of Voyager's National Park equipment, then we're allowed to use it. And that's what this agreement and this exhibit allows, so, or this appendix rather allows. So um, we did revise uh, some minor language and uh, I have not heard back as of the end of the day today from uh, the uh, Bob DeGross is the superintendent at the park and it was fine with his staff but he didn't have an opportunity to review it and we were waiting to hear back from them today and um, having not heard from them I suspect that it's uh, okay as written and so it should be adopted as written. Okay, council uh, pleasure with the uh, approval of that agreement between Voyagers National Park and the New National Falls Fire Rescue EMS Department. Uh -huh. Motion by Councilor Pearson to approve. I'll second. Second by Councilor Droba. Discussion? Questions for the Chief. Councilor Droba. So Chief, with, uh, with this being addressed and having new equipment at the ready, then are you guys going to have a training night to have all of our employees trained on the equipment or is it just going to be special teams for rural? Or Well, uh, how we've started this is this is a very similar agreement that they hold with the Capitoloma First Responders. They have several uh, park employees that work for the Cab First Responders, so this was a kind of a mirror of what they did down there. Right now, the way it's stated is that it's the park employees that are also our employees. So there's three people right now in our department that are have gone through the National Park Service um, watercraft test, I guess is what, in lack of a better term. They're licensed to drive those boats. Uh, we have discussed the option of if they have those classes again next summer, putting some more additional people through there. So we'd have that option of having a few more people. Um, as it states right now, it's just those three employees that are able to use that equipment. And basically what this did, the big thing this did is it sidestepped a phone call. It means if they have their keys on them or if they have access to keys to the boats, they can use them without waking somebody up at two o'clock in the morning for, um, it, it, it streamlined the process and we're hoping to progress from there next summer, changing, not changing language, but adding people to that list that we can use. Further questions or discussion? Chief, where, where is that uh, piece of equipment housed? Uh, that, this refers to any one of their vehicle or vessels. So currently they have boats at the Rainy Lake Visitor Center and they also have boats at the Captogama Visitor Center and at Ash River. So our ambulance response area does cover Captogama and Ash River so it really could be right situation. It could be any one of the places that we would use a vessel. Very good. Other questions or discussion? The okay, Chair would then place the question of the uh, agreement before the, the Council. All those uh, in question? Aye. 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 Now vote yes. Motion is carried. Agreement is approved. Thank you. Thank Thanks, you. Chief. Any other new business? to uh, reports of boards, committees, and department heads. City Administrator. I have nothing, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. City Attorney. Mr. Mayor, Council, uh, been working uh, with Kelly to try to get completed some of these 
particularly one blight situation uh, uh, that we had before the council here a few weeks ago. Uh, and we've got a difficult situation because we've got a cooperative owner, but we've had a tenant that was in there that's being uncooperative and refusing to leave and not paying rent. And uh, the chief's uh, officers and I have probably had a dozen phone calls over the last two weeks over this situation. And, and uh, so we're, uh, we're working hard to get it resolved and we, we actually uh, uh, issued uh, three criminal citations uh, for trespassing for going back when they had were told they couldn't and had promised not to and and now I just took a phone call before getting here and and uh, Apparently, uh, they uh, left an animal unattended for days inside the home, and so it's there'll be more criminal citations issued, and uh, it's a very sad situation. But uh, we're working to get it done. That's all I have. Well, thank you. That's uh, another one of the headaches in the uh, in the community that you're alleviating. Thank you. Chief uh, Maston. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Council. I've included my September activity report for the police department uh, for this year. You'll see our, our, as far as our numbers go, we had 304 general calls for service, 66 traffic stops, 27 medical assists. We made 14 arrests and generated uh, 69 ICRs. Total activity 480. As far as our training went, uh, we had some officers that attended the uh, mental health first aid training over at Bacchus, which was uh, well received. Um, our response team continued to train this uh, month with the Arrowhead law enforcement uh, instructor and, and did some live fire uh, exercises at the range, which were uh, very beneficial. Um, we also attended, as did you, the Shield 616 presentation over at the over at the. Uh, which I thought was well attended and very well appreciated. Uh, 14 uh, of our local officers received additional active shooter gear uh, from our citizens and we're very appreciative. Additionally, I wanted to point out that you may have seen in the paper that we're having an auction and we're doing it a little bit differently than in the past. It's pretty popular with a lot of law enforcement agencies across the state right now, so we're doing an online auction through dobid.com and the items that are being auctioned are, are uh, things that were seized in, in criminal cases so we have to dispose of them and disperse this, the funds and the sheriff's office has been doing it that way for a little while and uh, it uh, looked like probably a good way to go so we're giving it a shot you're good thank you um Another busy month, and uh, certainly uh, congratulations uh, to all those officers, and, and thank you to the uh, sponsors for the active uh, shooter gear. That certainly, uh, I think uh, they said there's they need about seven more to complete the uh, all the officers in Kuching County. So that would be great. Questions for uh, Chief Maston? Thank you for the good report. Good work. Chief Manasa. Uh, for the month of September, uh, we were pretty busy on the fireside. We had uh, four city responses, uh, one commercial fire, one fuel spill, and then two commercial fire calls. And then on the rural side, we had one house fire, one garage fire, one cabin fire on an island, which prompted the the agreement with the VMP. And then we also had two motor vehicle accidents. Uh, following that, we did have two CN train fills, three CO alarms for the fire side. And then this month we tested our hose. We did all, completed all the hose testing and got that completed for our training on in uh, September. On the ambulance side, we had 83 911s. 56 transfers for a total of 139 runs, which uh, was the same as last September in 2016, 139 runs. Um, this year's totals are 674 911s, 407 transfers for a total of 1,081 runs. For any questions. Other activity yes. for the departments. And I apologize, I did just finish this before the meeting. It is in your emails, so we'll make sure you get a copy out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Questions for Chief Manasa? Thank you for the good report. Thank you for all the activity. We'll move to um, reports to the Mayor, Council Committees, Boards and Commissions. Okay. Oh. I think since yeah. we met last, we were going to do the citywide cleanup and we did it now. Yes. So I just want to say we did it. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Brian, Brian Briggs, Brian Nelson, Levi Pearson, Friends, um, Garbage, um, Wayne Fuller. Um, the student council was just tremendous. They had eight people there and they were just a delight. It was fun watching them actually. And um, you know, others, I think I've done, the, I will put a thank you in the paper. And we didn't, we didn't do the door-to-door -door flyer because it costs a thousand dollars, but we, so we didn't have quite the volume we did last time. It was down, but we did fill the truck. It was a smaller truck this time and we collected quite a few white goods and electronics. And brush was less than we thought, which was surprising that it came in a little bit. It is cleaner. Yeah, it could be, hopefully. <laughs> and That's so um, we will have a follow-up with, once the housing committee meets, um, Wade did indicate that he would prefer to do this just once a year, so we're gonna be going to once a year. We can't do this without friends. and. Um, I think that we organize it, we do a better build up for a week maybe in advance. What I would like to see with this event is that neighbors help neighbors and that um, because if you have something citywide and you really push it then people feel freer to approach a neighbor that may have garbage problems and say would you like to be a part of this so it provides that impetus for asking and I, so I think we can do more if we do a bigger build-up than one, you know. When, when do you think you would do that, Councilor Jackson? Would the, well, the June one June seems to be? would maybe be the best because it's that time of the year. It's a month after the snow has melted and revealed all of these problems. Well, maybe two months. But May is out, so it would be nice to do it in May, but Wayne Fuller in the county site, they're so busy there that they asked us not to do it then. So June is, is a good time. People are, you know, we know where the, the garbage problems are after the winter. And, uh, and it was very well received at that time. So. Thank you, Councilor yeah. Jackson, and all those that, that helped you with another very uh, successful cleanup of our city. Hopefully it'll just get bigger and better and we'll have more of a neighborly Thing, so. Good approach, thank you. Mm -hmm. Other um, council committees, boards, and commissions? We have my mayor's report. I have my uh, curiosity, gentlemen, you're here for a purpose? Yeah.
Uh, your trucks will get two new radios in there. The 800s? Okay, thank you for attending the meeting this evening. Anyone else in the audience that has something to bring to the attention of the council? If not, uh, the next regular city council meeting will be at uh, 4.30 on Monday, October 16, 2017. With that, uh, we stand adjourned.